we can surely say without any doubt that terrorism is not a Muslim monopoly. Not only is it not a Muslim monopoly, it is not even a speciality of the Muslims. It is not even encouraged in Islam. It is prohibited in Islam. I being a student of compared religion, I cannot say that all the religions say that you should not kill innocent human beings. But I can surely say that most of the religions, the majority of the religions, if you read the scriptures, they say that you should not kill innocent human beings. And the leader of all these religions is Islam. Islam says, it's mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Maida chapter number 5, verse number 32, the ayat, the verse which was recited by the Qari, it says that if anyone, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, kills any other human being, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. I know of many religious scriptures which say that you should not kill innocent human beings. But Quran does not only say that, it says that if anyone kills any other human being, unless it be for murder or for creating corruption or for spreading mischief in the land, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. Quran goes a step further and says that if you kill any innocent human being, it is as though you have killed the whole of humanity. I don't know of any religious scripture which says that if you kill any innocent human being, it is as though you have killed the whole of humanity. And further Quran goes on to say that if you save any single life, any single human being, it is as though you have saved the whole of humankind. Islam is derived from the Arabic word salam or salam, which means peace. It comes from the Arabic word silm, which means to submit your will to Almighty God. Islam in short means peace acquired by submitting your will to Almighty God. Islam condemns all forms of terrorism, all forms of acts which kill innocent human beings. Irrespective whether it's 9-11, whether Twin Tower attack, or the 7th of July, where more than 50 innocent people were killed in London bomb blast. The New York Towers, more than 3,000 people were killed in the London bomb blast, more than 50 were killed. Or whether it be the serial bomb blast in 93 of Bombay, where more than 250 people were killed. Or the bomb blast that took place recently, on the 11th of July 2006, where more than 200 people were killed, are to be condemned. It is prohibited. You cannot justify killing of any innocent human being. Many Muslims, many a times, to appease the government, they put a full stop there. I never put a full stop here. I continue and say, we also have to condemn the thousands of Afghanis that have been killed in Afghanistan, the thousands of innocent people that have been killed in Iraq, the thousands of people that are killed in Gujarat, the thousands of people killed in Palestine, thousands of people killed in Lebanon. We can't put a full stop. Who are you afraid of? All sorts of terrorism in which innocent human beings are killed have to be condemned, whether done by Muslims or non-Muslims. We don't have records that 9-11 or 7 July or the recent serial bomb blast in the train confirmed record done by Muslims. It is just a hypothesis. But irrespective, after we come from the truth, whether it's done by Muslim or non-Muslim, it is to be condemned. It is prohibited. We know that most of the religions, they don't preach that you should kill innocent human beings. Terrorism is not the monopoly of any religion. It is not.